Hello everyone, today I'm going to react to all the music videos from Aaliyah's One in a Million album. If you want to skip right to my reaction, all the times on the screen right here is where you guys can skip to. The whole video will be timestamped if you want to skip around for specific songs. Now onto a couple of disclaimers. Number one, this is just my personal opinion and interpretation. I'd love to hear yours down below. Just give respectful, please. Sorry for any background noise and dust particles that may occur throughout the video. I'm going to be stopping giving thoughts as I go along. I'm going to have to cut a lot of the songs due to copyright. I've also already heard all of these songs. I'm just reacting to the music video for them i've seen a still or two maybe a part or two but i've tried not to see a lot of it in preparation for this video and lastly if i have anything else ever gets that check down below i might have a thing on and let's get into it so first up is going to be one in a million i think this opening shot is cool this is interesting this is captivating to watch So, so far I think that this video was shot really cool. I'm wondering more about that little eye patch thing that's going on in one of her eyes. And I would just love to know some more context behind it, but I think it's going well so far. So I really like this whole change of scenery. I like the outfit. I like the little choreography. I really like how in the late 90s and early 2000s the videos often look so futuristic and I'm definitely loving that with this song and of course the song is great as well. Oh, that's cool. There's so many outfit changes in this video and I think that's cool. I like whenever they can do a bunch of outfit changes and it works well with everything and all the outfits are super cool as well, which I always appreciate. Okay, so my thoughts on that music video, I thought it was immaculately shot. Like I said, I love all the different outfit changes. I love the different scenery, the whole choreography with that one guy. The ending scene on the motorcycle was certainly cool as well. And I just really appreciate whenever an artist can come out with a music video for a song and it perfectly captures the song. And in a way, it makes you think of the song in an even higher light. It makes the song even better. And I think this was just a great visual overall. Of course, I love the song as well. I did a reaction to this whole album. It'll be in the cards and down below if you guys like to check that out after this video. But overall, amazing music video like i said i saw some of the stills in some parts on twitter before i try to keep away from it for the most part but there are some parts that were new to me and i definitely enjoy myself watching the full thing for the first time and next up we have four page letter So far I'm really liking the visual, I think it's very compelling, I'm liking the change of outfit, she looks stunning as always, and everything is just fitting the song well, which I like. Ooh, little choreography! choreography is phenomenal i always love good choreography for a song and they ate with this choreography it is just so interesting to watch i'm really enjoying myself Ooh, 
for another outfit. Okay, so my thoughts on the video, I absolutely loved it. I love the choreography, I love the costume changes. I just love everything that was going on in there. Such a treat to watch and my favorite music video I've seen so far. Of course, One in a Million is a classic and everything. I just like everything that was brought to this one a little bit more. Next is the one I gave my heart to. So I like the way that it shot something that is simple in concept but it works well with the song and I know that this is a different arrangement than the one that was on the album. Ooh. my thoughts on that video that second half particularly really blew me away she was singing singing on this version and i understand why people like this version more i think it was like the single version that was released but yeah it definitely needs to be on streaming because she did what she had to do vocally i love that shot in the rain and all of that and yeah it was just so so good the second half of the video was just at another level than the first half but i like it all i like the transitions in between the different sets and all of that i like the different clothing that little white number that she had on she looked fantastic in and yeah that was so so good such a treat to finally hear this and it just hit differently i will say and yeah that is definitely my go-to version of the song i hope that one day they will put it on streaming platforms sure next up is if your girl only knew So some quick thoughts, I'm really loving it so far, just the way that it shot. And I thought it was interesting in the beginning how it had both of them in color and then the other girl was like in black and white, just a little bit of symbolism and stuff. And yeah, I don't know if it's the same person directing all of these music videos or if it's different people, but kudos to everyone who was involved in making these videos because it's such a treat to watch visually. And then you have her presence, which is already something else and just elevates it. And I'm just really enjoying myself so far. Okay, so my thoughts on that video, like I said, I loved how it was shot. I love the use of black and white. It was just a treat to watch. I really quite enjoy myself. I love the different ensembles that she was wearing. It was just such a treat visually to watch. Definitely enhance the song. And I think Missy was in there. If I'm mistaken, please correct me down below in the comments. But she might have been in another one that she did too. Like, it's just so intricately shot. 
and it just paints such a vivid picture which I like I like how whenever she was in the crowd she was in color and then everyone else was in black and white and all that and just the symbolism yeah that was phenomenal to watch and now into hot like fire the Timbaland's groove mix with Missy Elliott and Timbaland Amazing choreography, once again, we love to see it. I love the red lighting that's going on all throughout it. The driving in the car was cool as well. Just some nice visuals for the song. Okay, so my thoughts on that, I really enjoyed it. It definitely elevated the song for me, I will say. The fire trucks in the back, the firefighter, the actual fire, the transition effects was cool. Love the choreography, love the costuming. And I just thought it was a nice video visually overall to watch and soak in and appreciate. Yeah, I found that there's a one in a million remix featuring Genuine, so I will watch that right now. Okay, so my thoughts on that music video, I think it was cool to watch and listen to, but I still ultimately do prefer the original song, but I can appreciate back then how whenever it was a remix, it was the actual remix, there was a change in instrumental and the vocal delivery and stuff, and I wish that whenever they did remixes now, it was like what it used to be back then, I will say. All right, and then I just found one for Got To Give It Up featuring Slick Rick, so let's get into it. Alright, so my thoughts on that, I could enjoy it. I like how loudly it felt. 
it was interesting that they had a little different arrangement of the song but i could definitely enjoy myself watching it and i just liked everything that was given in that music video okay so what are my overall thoughts on all the videos that i watched today i really enjoyed myself as you guys can see today i thought the visuals were compelling i thought that they were brilliant i think that they stood the test of time most importantly and just well directed i love elise present shout out to everyone who was involved in making the music videos and all of that and i think my favorite one that i watched today was the one i gave my heart to that new version was something else and i was definitely looking forward to it because people said that it was going to be a different version so i have an eye out for that one a singing in the rain and all that stuff was cool that was the one that captivated me the most personally i also quite enjoyed four page letter as well i like the choreography going in there and that's probably going to be like maybe my second favorite one in a million was a classic as well and overall this was just a nice journey like i said before i have reacted to the entire album so if you want to see my first thoughts on every single song i'll have a card on the screen right now it'll be at the end of the video and down below in the description but hopefully you got everything i looked up everything and it looks like i'm good but i'm hoping to do a similar video like this for all the music videos that she did for her self-titled album so definitely stay tuned for that but i figured it was time to do another video on Aaliyah because i haven't done one in a very long time and it didn't mean for it to be this much of a gap and i love her music of course and it just hit differently after i haven't heard her music for a bit another thing i forgot to say is i thought that it might be genuine in the one in a million video wasn't 100 percent sure on that and then i thought little kim might be in one of the videos i think it was holly fire i think that was her and then i think missy was in a few of the videos as well like i was saying so something that i definitely wanted to add i think tim will might have made a cameo in some other videos too But that is it for my thoughts. What do you guys think? Any behind the scenes info? Anything I missed? Leave it down below in the comments. I would love to know what are your memories, all that stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, please just give it a like. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. I'd very much appreciate it. You can subscribe for more videos like this. You get the bell, you get a notification your phone every single time I post. Now, when a brand new video comes out, down below in the description, I will have all the videos that I've done on Aaliyah. I reacted to One in a Million, her self titled album, also some of the songs off the two compilation albums. So those will be linked down below in the description if you want to check those out. And the first thing down below description will be my second channel if you guys want to see more of me. I just posted a new video on there. It's my first hour long video and I just recapped every single video I did in 2021. I talked about some behind the scenes, which ones stood the test of time for me personally. Talked a little bit about what I learned in 2021. So definitely check that out. I worked really hard on it. I'm also going to have my Twitter, my Instagram, Spotify if you'd like to follow me. Links to stream the One in a Million album if you haven't heard it already. Definitely listen to it. It is amazing. And also links to educate you guys on important situations. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.